It's such a shame when really good technology is invented but then fades away for whatever reason and we miss out on benefiting from it. I mean, some of us are old enough to remember the Betamax tapes, which offered a much better experience than VHS, but despite that, it never took on. There's, new, there's a technology called Digital Radio Mondial, uh, which can be added to the list of technologies that, despite being better than established technologies, never really took off. I mean, it was meant to replace analogue broadcasting, in particular shortwave AM broadcasting, because it offered a couple of advantages of... Uh, the, the you know the traditional shortwave AM broadcasts that we listen to today, one is better audio quality, and anyone who's spent some time listening to shortwave radio will know how poor the audio quality can be on shortwave, and also you get this fading in and out of uh, shortwave broadcasts, uh, and it, but this technology, digital radio mondial, is less susceptible to that fading off. Of, of the signal. It also uses less power for the same range and one of the reasons why a lot of the uh, shortwave transmission transmitters have been shut down is because of the, the power requirements and you can also support more stations on, on a given band so because it just uses the actual uh, bandwidth more uh, efficiently. But it never took off because broadcasters, broadcasters didn't want to transmit stations uh, on DRM because their argument was there aren't enough radios that are supporting DRM so therefore what's what's the point but then the manufacturers didn't want to make DRM radios because there weren't enough DRM, DRM broadcasting stations and so even when you combine that with uh, that quite catch-22 situation with the gradual decline in shortwave listening and and DRM had such a mountain to, to climb it, it just never it never took off a few DRM radios were made, uh, and, and the photo that you can see is that of a, a Morphe Richards radio. I think it's model number 27024, and it's brought out by Morphe Richards. Um, but it was, in, it was manufactured in fairly low volumes. Uh, Neil Savin uh, was de- delivered a presentation at the Burnham Beaches Radio Club. Uh, that's Neil Savin G0 SVN Golf 0 Sierra Victor November. Uh, in fact, he brought a couple of his uh, DRM radios along and we got a chance to hear a DRM station. It was, uh, I think it was um, Radio Romania International um, that were broadcasting uh, in English. And you can really hear the improve, you know, the, the, the audio quality is so much better than, um, than shortwave. But because these DRM radios were, you know, low volume production and therefore quite expensive, um, they didn't really sell. Uh, and there aren't they're not readily available now. Um, I mean, nowadays, if you want to listen to a DRM station, you'll have to use, uh, or it's more common to use software-based radio uh, to tune into the DRM stations. Uh, the BBC World Service have um, a one-hour program every morning, about six in the morning. Uh, radio Romania International, I've just mentioned, are still broadcasting, and they broadcast in a number of European languages, uh, in, and uh, they also broadcast in English as well. If you are interested in DRM uh, stations and having a listen, uh, have a look at drmrx.org. That's drmrx.org. And on there you'll get details of which stations are um, broadcasting and at what times.